You know, there's something I want to start off like in this way, you know, if that's okay with yeah, yeah. everybody, you know. Yes, okay, Navinjar. I never got this opportunity to say this to you, you know. It's been years, it's been years, and I'll start from this, eh? it's been years, I've been fascinated about one specific thing, you know? uh-huh. fascination. Eh? Okay. And as a good in man, Elon Musk is making that possible, all right? You know what I'm bloody getting into, okay? I'm sanity, you know, I'm sanity, you know, I was doing sanity, now uh-huh. I know, you know, uh-huh. for us, you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the teacher. Guy. Teacher, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> but, a, but right? I was the young, young, youngest you know? teacher. Youngest teacher, yeah. I mean, suppose I'm an elite man. I still remember this. Ke. There was something that you said uh-huh. which stayed with me all my life till today. You know? I know. Mean, I mean, suppose I'm a boss. I was like, 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 a spaceship came from somewhere uh-huh. and then they went ahead and lit a fire or something, you know? uh-huh. And then we all started worshipping the spaceship, uh-huh. you know? And then we just look up in the sky and worship, uh-huh. you know? Like, it can be anything. It can be aliens, man. Uh-huh. You don't remember <laughs> this. You don't remember this. Of course you don't, you <laughs> know? And you ingrained that in my mind, okay? And yeah. from that moment on till today, I'm fascinated about space. Hey? Oh. Yeah. Me too, man. I'm, I've always been fascinated about space. I've always felt that I mean it's so huge, you know. Right? I will, uh, you know, it's it's very hard for me to think that we are the only, <laughs> kind of, you know, whatever in this little dot in this huge universe. I right? know, so it, it's 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 fascinating. I mean, I don't know. Probably well, and probably it was some things going in my head like that. Azulite bureau dinu bhai mere dimag mein na. Test pachi aaja samar mere jivan bhar. I'll still be fascinated about space, and that gave me freedom. Okay. Absolutely. sense of belongingness ingrained uh-huh. I'm more rooted towards my ground because that I look up in the sky. Yep. Absolutely. And you ingre- in, you put that seed in my brain. So thank you for that. Oh, you know, my <laughs> pleasure, man. I <laughs> trying to remember that, but yeah, I mean I've always you know, I think it was also like imagination the chanda So it could be anything, no? And I've always felt like anything can be possible, right? I mean, one is of the number, you know, even, even, I'm here, you know, it was always like, why not? I mean, people would ask, why are you doing this? And I'd be like, why not? You know? <laughs> I know, <laughs> that's exactly what I do, right? And, right? and a big part of what I do, it's because of my teacher, it's because of you. Hey. As a teacher, also mm-hmm. they go again. Not just music. I'm not talking about music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you give us more than that. I, you give I, us I life love lessons, guys, man. I <laughs> love being a teacher. I, I just had. I would get so energized, you know. I feel so passionate for you, and I, and that that's something I discovered. I didn't know about it. I mean, I wasn't like you know. I'm going to be a teacher. I was going to be a musician, and I got this opportunity, and then suddenly realized, man, this is awesome. You know. Mira Soto, eh, by the way, I'm just letting you guys, <laughs> my sir, okay. <laughs> Super proud of you, man. You know, it's amazing to see you up here and, you know, doing so well. Thank you, thank you so much. So, too, too, I wanted to share this with you, okay, whenever, whenever we got that opportunity. I wanted oh. this to happen like a year, <laughs> a year, two years ago, you know, but obviously it's planned. It, it, it was meant to be today, you know. I know, 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 so we go in my middle school, go matter, you taught in uh, other, other schools, schools too, as well. Yeah, right? yeah. Do you know what I say? Boss, you okay? And oh, yeah. beyond music, boy, okay? I'm so glad because I always thought, like, uh, you know, students are like, one, one thing I've always, you know, the gist of it was like, anything's possible, man. You just put in the energy and just keep on going. I'm kids, it's horror. We are humans, you know, if somebody else can do it, why not us? On the when I saw some of these kids, of course, the potential on them, the I mean, I, I still get blown away with some of the stuff that happened in that school. I mean, it's my, all the money went to me. college school students are living. I mean, it was it was amazing. Continue. A lot of you don't know this, I know, but uh, Sor also doesn't remember this, I know. Molly, Molly, I've sang once in my life, I know, in school, and uh, it was in front of a lot of lot of kids, I know, uh, with a band. 
and uh, the two one girl in the band uh, three guys in the band and then i sang a song called temple of the king by the Ra- rainbow rainbow in temple of the temple of the king i know temple that song you know, rainbow rainbow is a like so like some like no probably i can't think of the top of my head right now but, but it, it, that's I the know. song and then i never imagined i could sing and now friends musician friends come yeah told the git gone but this time i was i'm like man i i only did it once in my life what, you know? what was that for our indra house music competition i think so i think so it was for the music competition and then i was in emerald and then it's yes, doing emerald that house from <laughs> ilon didn't he i mean, it was such a blast man that uh, you know the the stuff i got the opportunity to do at elich i mean there was a lot of support from your principal she was amazing you know so I did songs that hit man we did that kind of I mean I remember this one time Timur Tio Timur Tio maybe it was your time you know um homework kun din the music homework oh i know and it was strict right I, I, i'm not going to just kind of mess around right i'm i'm like i understand everything but when you do something it's got to be done well i mean otherwise let's not do it i know so music theory und dio timur ko oral skills und dio and all of that no it was a full curriculum on the homework on the on the students who would go home and the next day outside so like let me see your homework you know on the sar i couldn't you know do it i would like there were there were different excuses for different situations but the one thing that kind of struck me was like so my like god my god on so because like music god even because i have to do my math and i have to do my you know a music god that parents i was like get a kin was that boy like you know do your right on the I was like I well, I understand that you know because that's that is challenging because I'm expecting these guys to do this stuff but the government this the support sign on that government support say very sorry so I went to the principal smart and then said ma'am we have a situation I know um if we want to pursue in this format with the way I'm doing music classes I mean we have about 15 music teachers you know timur i mean you guys were one of the fortunate ones like i mean the the, the whole department the whole building was for us we had like so you were an entire building to our school not just for music, music. just for no, music right it was incredible Marching band to what not ba- tabla what not? harmonium yeah. flute everything everything you know the western instruments like you had trumpet you had clarinet you had saxophone i mean all of that stuff we had a whole orchestra i know but just to program by raisa i know i would tell i would costly go in that yo we need support on the bonnet i suggested ma'am can we make music as a subject for one year if you fail music you fail the class i think we did that for a semester ma'am ek kolagi hai na deti gore go ah ma'am support was just like then after that it became part of the curriculum you know but um i don't know if you remember that I I think I I missed that. I think I uh, that I don't remember but maybe maybe and most probably I passed yeah, that's why. Yeah, <laughs> it was a very short time but we we just had to make it like this go important. Yeah, musical. I mean it it is as important as any other subject. Bonne don't say your message share one like we created that for a semester or so and then everybody got it. We were all on the same page after that. And I want to thank you for everything. Honest. Thank you for everything. Uh, shake my hand with my so man. This is, this is, this is <laughs> I think that's what they say. Yeah, in a channel, that it, it's different when you slightly grow up, you become friends. Of course, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah, man, man, yeah. no, no. You give you give us life lessons. Okay, this man gave us life lessons. I am here because of this man. You know, because hey, you give you, us life lessons that you can't even, you won't even remember. Okay, but that's the impact you create. Okay, now we serve. Well, I I mean, you know, the little bit I I I always gave everything I had, yeah. you know. It was always like full. Yeah. You know, there was no holding back. How was growing up for you, know, in Darjeeling? Um again, I was blessed, you know. I had I had a great um upbringing at home. There was music all over, you know. Um we had classical music, Indian classical, Hindustani classical music, bhajans in the morning, you know. Afternoon still I would look folk music on there from Kumar was named to all the cats that you know my kanza kaka was a huge folk music fan so i used to listen to that right our school ma it was western music we had a choir we had an orchestra right and the musicals in the school ma that was a big major production our bondo school go uh music program was amazing and that's where the inspiration came for from for me when i was in elites like, how, how can i bring some of that you know so yeah i i grew up um around music 
And Dajling itself was such a cultural kind of, you know, spot, you know, not just music, but like art, theater, cinema, something. Cinema, yeah. I mean, and there's a big deal. And always was like fascinated by like, wow. How do you think that happened in Darjeeling? I mean, as a Darjeeling to influence when it comes to when it comes to pictures, I think of Darjeeling. I don't want to. The friends who bought in the cameras here, cinema, music, Darjeeling, I mean, you know, I think there's education huge on the about Darjeeling, man. Like with all these different schools, right? Um, and and probably that's where where it came, you know. Um, to influence, yeah. Uh, but about there, I don't know. I mean, I've heard stories about like aliens when the band or like Beatles go time. You know, when Beatles was happening in England and the rest of the world, aliens was happening in Darjeeling. In Darjeeling. I know, and they'll dress up and everything. And I mean, you know, so there's that too, um, you're a cultural influencer, I think, you know, from India, okay, but also the West, you know, the British school influence too. They live in the schools or you go to the there was a lot of that kind of blend happening, you know. And somehow art was really appreciated there, you know. And not only uh, Western, but like also low classical. I'm a boo I practice Gore Sunego Tabla was on I can't remember his name. I I, I had an amazing guru, uh, Fakira, Guru Fakira Yusuf Mahnao, you know, who who taught me Tabla. Thought I used my dad used to talk about like they would go and listen to their rehearsals. Yeah. Classical singing, heavy white axel, and a low pony white axel. You know, the Western was like, these guys are full rock and rollers, man. Mm. They were not kidding, you know. Um, so th- this, it's in the air, man. It was the place, and uh, everything just, I guess, happened there. Oh, really? Did you start studying music, music in school? Like, uh, there's a difference between learning how to play and then learning how to actually read, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Yeah, about to, you know, about. It was a formal study one, uh, formal yeah. education for music. I right? know. I was just to Hindustan classical music mentor. You do your sargam, saregama, and you tabla mabni. How to write tabla? How to speak the bows? You know. So that's the formal education. I will call these other musicians are have great ears and when they talk 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 tipi answer. I know. I I I say a combo is great. A combo of it. Unzani formal education bani line. I will. Every time I think on the ferry. As a kid, I used to love to play the guitar. I had a guitar I had a tin guitar first. I had a tin I still remember, I think I was like three or four years old. Then my dad got me a, a kind of a acoustic guitar. No teachers. I had no teachers. So I used to like, you know, one day, every time teacher. Boy. So um, formally, I was education. And I, I think that is... Um, it's gotten much better about oil at I know. money to tell I think it's it's really important. I'm a society man, that's in gay society, in a society where music becomes ingrained in schools. Okay, Samuel the Hina just the elite man, Ligori, but I know. Um, to I think it's important for us to kind of get to that level, um, you know, artistically express what I know. Um, to Tom down again musically, hmm. and and I, you know, not only Western but like classical folk. So I mean, uh, it's definitely there, you know. So um, formal education is there. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a tool, you know. Yeah. Our buddy Rich, when he's in the drummer thingy, oh. he's a famous guy, you know, very he, famous, famous guy, one of the biggest drummers ever lived. Um, <coughs> he didn't know how to read music, though. So, you know. I mean, he had such great ears. Only big band my wasn't here. You know, he was one of the be- best big band drummers. But he never looked at a chart and played. You know, usko kani esto thi ye tak tak berdial. And so, if you have that, hey, you can. I mean, the bottom line is, music wasn't for you. It must have the soul, and it should sound good. If it sounds good, it's good. You know. So how do you get there? But nikurata, there are many ways to do that. You know, on one for me. Uh, I miss that because me of our formal education tabla ma boy. Oh. I know Western music ma our school ma thiyo tar abo testo pani thena ki like you know abo yesari gorne curriculum ma thena nta. I mean cla- music class hun thiyo. You know musicals bani plays aru hun thiyo eta uti. And plus we were day scholars bani ko 
we'd go home after school. Yeah. So most of the stuff used to happen after school, which I mean, it was difficult for us as day scholars, you know. Uh, boarding school, because they're already there. Oh. I know. Uh, plus, again, abo, you know, you're young, abo, te mori garo, you know, get up, practice. And uh, later, I actually started liking that, you know. It became um, a routine? It became a routine. I, I discipline, by Discipline. Loved it, you know. And it was like, I love what it's up for you. I mean, it's typical, right? But I mean, I just fell in love with that. I love the aspect of waking up in the morning. The first thing you do is play tabla. How cool is that, right? I just want that. How difficult is it? It's tabla? a difficult instrument. It's uh, it's not the e- easier. We have instrument. a friend. We have a friend uh, who plays the tabla. You know? He's our mayor of Kathmandu right now. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. Right on. That is yeah. I know when I think about it. Kio, yeah. Oh, awesome. Koi liko, koi liko tosh bhi rena. I think this. Oh, you is, keep it, no? Yeah, I think it's one of the jazz band do events. Um, I was probably playing tabla. I, Nepal Mali ban the band back. Okay, your New York band. I work with them. Um, Minnesota of New York man, and we we kind of created this kind of project where there's elements of Mali. On the Nepal co elements, and then of course jazz, you know. So this my there was a tabla thing, and you know I do this quite a bit. A without. fusion. A fusion, yeah, pretty much a blend, you know. And that's what music is, I If you think about it, it's, it's always been fusion. Yeah. You know, if you think about it, it's not, it's remedy. If you go to the roots of it, it's always been one blend. of the first instruments ever created in the planet. I know. I don't know the exact timing. I know. The hoddi bada thing, flute trace, okay. If I'm not mistaken, I know. Don't you think it's the drums? I think I think it's the drums, I know. But is it the flute or is it the drums? Okay, what what I, they, I they, they started banging I mean, things together, Ola. Imagine, like oh, as humans, we know ourselves, I know. What do you think we probably would have done? We would have banged something, okay? That that something. that'd be my theory. You know, is like I, I mean, think we started banging stuff. Oh, yeah. I know, stomping. I mean, so kind of sana kara motta ko bara. Then abu kya korne? And I think people started stopping, you know, versus like Abu. It do, takes a lot of time to do you this, know, isn't it? And probably there was a, you know, like somebody blew a leaf or something and uh, it was like, oh, there's a sound. You say, I'm sure it's that there. we found, yeah. right? We found, but uh, but I'm sure it's like something banging or something like that. just <laughs> the You know? It started with this. You know, 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 they used to play this, you know, and yeah. call for mates probably, you know, or yep. do something. And and one of those naturally when the instrument is also like the blowing instrument, like with wind, I know. So it, it makes sense mm. that mm. Uh, the mm. flute. Uh Novita, how was uh, like tabla you picked up tabla back in the day, you know, when yep. you were young. And then and then what happened? Uh then I picked up the guitar. You know, like um, every kid, <laughs> like every other kid, right? And then I also got really influenced by Western music. I was, you know, them rock and roll in the teenage years. You know, we had the whole. When you were growing up, influenced kids, you? Ah, the typical abo. It is the abo. It is good music too initially. They're like from Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson. I know, but the typical it is good music. Right. Um, I'm not already. I'm sure I'm not already dazzling Matthew. Get it music. Okay. Besides, I besides, what about Iko? Into music. I'm not too open. It's lots of game. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. I mean, but before that, like you know, these guys. I mean, you just to trend with a boy like this, nee. It's a bit too boy like this. That is the 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 very intriguing part, because that's your internet that thing, nanda. Right. So. I talked to some folks how did you listen to all of that stuff, you know? And I'm like, I don't know, but it was there. After to a generation, rock came back, like after all the pop and all of that, you know? So they were like bands like Scorpions and Iron Maiden and a huge bayrak well, I'm in the 80s, 70s, 80s, good time. It was there, you know? And oh, cassette I still remember, like you know, trying to find music and cassettes, and but like that studio boy, you had like a he had like a tea leaf shop, I think, 
but he also had cassettes and he would only do western you know so like i remember getting these southern bands like atlanta rhythm section bhanne that love like one porni ali kunse and then these are like bands like blues and rock influence on any on the blues or you know you say blues i mean you know these guys knew they were not just selling stuff you know mm. they listen to the music they could recommend saying like check this out guy you know mm. and i i i've always been very curious and like i say I'm hungry for different kinds of music and kids are kids are curious you know so it was uh, always uh, from a very early age i had that curiosity uh, for different kinds of music and um you know and that's what we did even as a band i mean there was there khali music bajani kedan jale euta time we were a reggae band tamil band reggae band one time reggae madhe bajant haina euta time we played more time music euta time a funk you know euta time a rock we played southern rock um you know and then i think that that was the the kind of habit we had of like discovering new music trying different things and that's what led us to jazz ultimately you know blues or ngori ro hai na thame ma i remember we were that was like it was a trio a power trio pravin le bass bajon thyo i started playing the drums i mean and there's you know the drum story is also it wasn't like i'm going to play the drums it no was it was a crisis there's nobody <laughs> nobody to go ahead and play nobody, nobody was going i mean you know so um just kind of going back a track little back, bit yeah right track back to th- uh, 1993 we came to Kathmandu now that's a whole first time right? let's let's get to this either okay. so 1992 man you were you were in college we were in first year college i know mm-hmm. you're in college kadanza banera you had already decided that i mean say love we're going to we are name a band we we're played locally at out the early practice court here oh. yeah mm-hmm. i know and then one day you got an opportunity to or can you give something happened and you no, came no no it was just this it's still events. very vivid in my head right now what happened that you i know मेरे रूम में मत घर में प्क्टिस करते हम बैंड हो नोवेबर को टाइम में अरुण आवर बेस प्लेयर दिन हेड हिज हिज अंकल वॉज महेन्द्र अंकल फ्रम फ्रिजम हि वॉज भिजिटिंग यहाँ है अरुण कम्स बैक दाजीलिंग एंड ही आई मीन आई आई स्टिल रिमेम हि जस्ट थ्रू दैट इन्विटेशन क्या चेक दिस आउट गाइज ला हेयर भर वी आर लाइक वॉट्स गोन आन खोले हेर न we over and I was like oh wow it's an invitation to play for christmas and new year in kathmandu uh-huh. uh and the guys were thrilled yeah there's a big deal i mean like that i think any kathmandu koile koile the sune tha 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 of course that i heard about dev uncle prism i knew about dev uncle's white pearl drums <laughs> i mean that, that that was just this fascination now right and i mean we were super thrilled so we came i still remember um was it himalayan hotel now la um you know uncle i was because we didn't have our gear leunu gar on the drums or that you know so we bought our guitars but our drum set the mo bajaun din the they were i used to play the guitar and sing amro mm-hmm. arish was the drummer but dev uncle ko drums was there okay mm-hmm. so my uncle he had arranged that and we were just like wow yeah. that's the white pearl <laughs> you know um so yeah we we played those two gigs and um you know we, For, we, first time you came to kathmandu first time we came to kathmandu on after the gig the first christmas gig we were, we were all i mean you know young guys partying all the time christmas you know? 93 christmas 93 new i mean christmas eve go be like um we were hanging out at a hotel get out of salt was drinking doing our thing you know all sathi or not i think i mean it was a trip for us like once in not just the band but my friends came and da da like let's make it a trip on we had heard about prism and other bands playing at the casino here where they had a regular gig you know they play three nights um a week something like that mm. and it was a well paid gig it was regular amro lagi to that was just like wow you can actually do that meaning make a living and get paid like a monthly payment for making music so that was fascinating right on the keta like yeah kura on isn't that right and then you gig band the mall and i mean like you know we were like what college i mean thodi din in college give up you know for me you know you we know, were just like um young guys just kind of a little tipsy and you know just dreaming big dreams right so i don't know and we were just chatting like that and suddenly yogesh ro mathi and call gordin porcha kyo kosinama let me just make a call 
I just picked up the phone. I picked it up. And I was very you know, professional. I mean, I have to slow down. I said, you know, I, uh, I'm a um, singer from this band, Cadenza from Darjeeling. I was wondering if I could talk to Mrs. Toro. I we knew who the lady was who was, you know, taking care of the space and hiring the bands. And the reception, whoever picked up said like, oh, let me see if she's around. And that was New Year's Eve, I mean, no, Christmas Eve, Bell got two years later, man. I know. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know. So somehow she picked up the phone. And I said, man, um, you know, just introduce myself. We're this band from Darjeeling. We'd love to audition if you have a spot available. One and one. And she was like, oh, that's that's great, but I'm really busy right now, you know. Uh, call me, call me after news, one year. And I was like, okay, no, well, thank you very much for, you know, I'll call you after news. Put the phone down. And the guys are all, kibo, kibo, you know. No? New Year's pizza, uh, call the number next, huh? And I was like, okay, I mean, sometimes I'm like, okay, cool, I mean, you know, but but we were not, like, I will, I will spend the case, I know, that's my, I will kibo, you know. And then, same thing happened, New Year's Eve, Bajayo. We are all a little, you know. Again, it was too kind of a thing in the morning. And the guys go like, Hey, they're like, phone call me. They didn't do it. They didn't do it. They didn't do it. And I'm like, okay, let me try again. I don't know. I mean, what the, what's, what's that? I mean, trying. Uh-huh. Right? Picked up the phone again, dialed. Did the same thing. Somebody picked up, said, I'm going to see if she's around. Got it. She picked it up. Hi, you know. And I was like, ma'am, um, this is Naveen again from this band Cadenza. I called you New Year's, uh, Christmas Eve, da da da. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was wondering if we could audition, you know. She was like, oh, well, uh, when are you guys leaving? And I you, in two days, when are It's the key one, And she was like, well, how about tomorrow, 2 p.m. in the afternoon? Come to your Everest, your Yago Casino. Yaganidi? Yaganidi. Yaganidi. Mr. Tuttle, but news Yaganidi. Yeah. Uh, just come to 2 p.m. We'll, we'll do a short audition. What? So I said, yes, ma'am. You know, we'll be there. You know, we'll be there. Bam. Guys are like, keep on. Tomorrow audition, guys. Look. <laughs> you know? So, um, Poli Porta, then, you know, we called Moen Rangal in the morning saying, oh, we have an audition. Uh-huh. I know. And the man on to Tolon Mil Sotawe go up because we don't you know, drums up to China. And he was like, really? You just called her? And she just said, come for an audition. <laughs> I mean, he's <laughs> super stunned. I eh? know that. One's an uncle, yo. I know uncle, I'll be so good at it. You know, she called us. Okay. Then he was like, all right. Take it. So long. So long. So long. So long. I'll help you with the sound and all of that. But I still, I mean, you know, you're still doubtful. Me. I'm like, what is this? The you owner know? of Yaganese, he decided to give you a time. To time, just like that. And she hasn't met me or anything over the phone. She just kind of said, okay, come. Then I mean, go, you already got a set up, got a set list, but I, you know, you know, guys ready to rock and roll. Uncle Pony on the two o'clock comes, she doesn't show up. 2.30, she doesn't show up. Three o'clock, she doesn't show up. Then we were like, ah. Maybe we got pranked or something. You know, I mean, you know, I'll keep phone mother back, but I know. Okay, uh-huh. listen. And the uncle was like, yeah, I, th- I thought so. You know, this was some, something must have happened. It's, it's, they said he would then, Kali, but I know. You know. Super disappointed. Yeah, but then they're like, okay, well, pack up. So we packed up our stuff, started walking out of Yakinidi. We were on the way out, on the, to Bosnia Sunny. Oh. To my town, they too. The big stretch limo, Kale, already got it. Jalabada, a lady pops her head out and says, Mahendra! <laughs> and we were like, ma'am, when it doesn't, though, you know, it's an older lady, Kale, she's a young looking lady. And we were like, shock now, cool. And she, Mahendra, all the bottom, hey, you know, and she was just like, oh, I'm sorry, but come on over. And that's ma'am, <laughs> you know. So, um, we headed back with all our gear, everything. And we she was like, Oh, I'm so sorry I got caught up in this, da 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 d We were like, It's okay, you know. She's like, Well, play something for me. And it 
was all set up, da da da. We played. Um, a band tight to to do that, you know. And we were just like, okay. And she just goes like, when are you gonna start? Bossida I said, table man, there was some, you know, food and all that. I put us spread to it, right? So Bosida and she went, Oh, I love the band. When are you gonna start? And we were like, um, we have to go back and ask our parents <laughs> because we are you know still going to college. Kids. Kids me. On the ma'am, uh, we, we 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 can only, you know, come back after a week or so because we have to go back and talk to them and then come back. And she was like, Okay. No problem. I'll give you two weeks. If you come back, the gig's yours. At the casino. At the casino. At Yakiniti Go Casino. I know. We we were gonna play at Anna. She said, Tonight there's a band playing. Come to Anna Casino, we're gonna talk money. Right? Paisa the bank is Paisa Bank it's some You thought first initial motel. I know. Um and we said yes. So Deluga, we went to Anna Casino and we were just like, Wow, you know, the whole setup, like a club, Kalitin, you know, then every day new the music. So, you know, so many other bands that I played. And, you know, it was amazing. <laughs> and then she said, oh, come on over. Let's, you know. I thought we'd go to this fancy office or something. She took us backstage to buy the hotel. Buy the under the sky. So how much are you guys going to charge? I mean, it was just like very straight, you know. And we, had, we knew how much then, you know. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> on a man too. Uh. I know. So I said the number, and she kind of laughed, you know. <laughs> and she said, "Well, you guys start. We'll see for a month. If it goes, you'll get that." I'm like, "Okay, Tati, done. We'll see you in two weeks." Damn, that was it, man. That's how we entry to Kathmandu. Entry to Kathmandu. But that was a big deal because now we have to face parents parents saying, I'm going to quit college and I'm going to leave. You know? So, I was going to go to the hospital. I was going to go to the hospital. I was going to go to the know, Everything seemed possible. And I, I still remember that was so upset me. But I, of course, I would be upset if my son just suddenly, like, you know, with college and like wow, music goes out the old time, you know. Mom was just sad. Family went to back is like, you know, I think I was the first one who left. You know, all my cousin, brothers, sisters, they all were like, you know, they grew up there, they got their jobs, they stayed there, they made their family. I didn't stay so I think I was the first one who just like was like, I'm jetting up. And music, it was all during music. There was nothing else. You know, yeah. like, it, it was just, this is what I want to do. You know, this was an opportunity. I, I can't, you know. Only, so we came, we played at uh, the Casino Bazaar and Royal Man Bazaar. Uh, for a year, it was the rock and roll dream. Every day? Not every Almost day. every day. Uh, three days a week. It was like, so we'd wake up like noon, you know, it was about the band Puja room. There were the people ding 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 ding, you know. It would be five, six in the morning. But we did that for a year. What kind of music did you play? Rock and roll. Kick Lenny Kravitz or Buzz on Till. Um Kia Buzz on Till or like Doors or Buzz on Till, you know. And 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 over the you know, then they go up to you, okay, what's the crowd liking? You know? uh. And then the reggae thing also even what was that band? Um I'm a drummer like on the I can't remember. It was a reggae band, uh. um, but a pop reggae kind of, you know. I um, have a, I, I, I kind of have a feeling, you know. But you played almost everything. Yeah, we, we then started with like the full spectrum. But it was, it was a high energy band, and then people loved it. Um, we did that for a year, and then the casino closed. <laughs> Certainly, it was like the gig's done, man. One morning you wake up and then there's no work. There's no work. Why So casino ki ba? You know, why not? Suddenly everybody was like, you know, so play band over. Oh, out of work. And then we were like, what do we do? And the guys, two years later, are working. Huh? Bass player, uh, um, drummer. I mean, they were like, yeah, we we're gonna go back. On the motel, and I can't, man. I took that step. 
I'm not going to backtrack suddenly and go like, oh, I'm back now and I'm going to, no ways. God forgives and a million. Sounds like China. And my friend, Yogesh Mandetya, there's a more to call him, you know. But now we are just the two of us. How do we pay the bills and all that? We need a bloody van, man, you know. So I still remember my dad. He was amazing. He called on the key on his own, Timarko, get out here, you know. Well, they want to have the gigs done. So, band went to get out for him, Mr. Kalijana. On the boat for him, this one. On the boat, they want to more song, Mr. Kalijana. And I'm going I'm, I'm to do music. This is what I'm going to do. On the course, he got on the top. On the car, on the top, you know. And he was like, how can I? I mean, help. He was ready to help. You know, give me money, whatever. You know. Yeah, but it, you know, I was like, also Ali girl up there. Do you like time of pride when you want something to feel? I you know, teenagers are, you know how it is. Ali girl, I know, I know. And I said, you know, but I do have a favor to ask you. Can you send my brother over, Prabin? Poise to tell you, man, buy the money for that. Buy the money for that. We needed a band, you know. We didn't need the money. I mean, we did need the money, of course, but that would have been very temporary you know, solution. The solution is to have a band. I know. You can make money. I mean, to the buy you'll survive. To buy but then, to the survival, there are band bubs. Then we'll survive. Me. Then you know, we are together. We'll make music. We'll figure it out. You know. Thought I need a bass player, and Pravin had come here before, and he was itching to get out. I'm not that yet. I know. And he, Dad was like, really. I mean, have you talked to him? Is that I know my Kuragorsu. You know, he was young. He was young. He had just finished his um, high school, I think. You know, but he was ready to rock and roll. So all of a sudden, next day the pack sack got anyone. So I know. So now we have a bass player. We've got two guitar players, right? Um, but we still don't have a drummer. Al, can't put a drummer. China, China. On the coast, no, we have thousand China. Then finally, these guys were like, you know, I mean that. Where we live on Thalia, you always live near, no? I was like, okay, because we needed the gigs, you know. Bosun is got two, Tamil, Bosun mil two, and we used to play six nights in Tamil TV. So I didn't bother into the tongues and tails. My boss, I spams with the part, the temples that we played at Roadhouse, you know, all these places. That you know, we were this Tamil go band. And you had friends, I mean, Sati, so I mean, we, at one point, we were, I like I said, we were a reggae band, you know, but the band was tight. I was Tommy Bostil, Ravid on the bass, I was on the drums, Yogesh on guitar, it was a power trio, man. We rocked it, we were the first bands to ever win the crossroads in India, go to huh. competition, or, on the dunk, kill dunk, India, go to Kothai Sava, Delhi, go to, 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 cinema, bonon, so. Because it's got everything, all the masalas of <laughs> our rock and roll band from Kathmandu, Kerala. But we go and do that. That's the band. And we used to play six nights. We never really a practice. Go and perform. Ninety four, ninety five. I know you. Ninety four, ninety five. Ninety four, ninety five. Ninety five. Yeah, we were in Delhi for three months, man. These guys, we went there, we played, we won the com- competition. These guys didn't pay us. Yeah, what about it? Why say that? Why say that? They go and do. Back they go and do. Ah, man. This is the one that I like. It's going to be a movie, man, if somebody is interested. You know, because then the, then it started. I was still concert one of the concerts. I was like, I'm going to go to Delhi. I'm going to go to Delhi. But, I mean, but there's a story, man. Again, what it's happened? a long story. Uh, long story short. Long story short, we didn't get paid. I know. On the, then we were left on the streets. I know. But um, we got this opportunity again. To play another competition in Ahmedabad, like we we had a lot of help. Our friends helped us in Delhi. They hosted us. Uh, I mean, we were the stranded band that didn't get paid, can get home, you know. But we got this opportunity. Then it came. No, we organized a concert party. Organized birthday. I'm trying on that. My friend is in Norzang. Man, we got in another one. Norzang helped us. I know. And the other concert I organized got we. Sold tickets, we printed posters, we had a venue, we had a caterer, you know, band was on it. Everybody came, made some money, you know, but not enough to get back again, I know. They, they was by that, I mean, and we had to pay, you know, what is going to do, so I said, so I said, and we got this opportunity to play in Ahmedabad, yeah, thank you, festival, that's the, on the journey, you know, don't know, 
Let's go, Ahmedabad. Went there, won the thing. Won the competition, made some money there. Right? Somebody else saw the band. band. They were like, hey, man, can you come back next week? We have this arts festival at the Kunikinjai College. Thing, okay? Arts College. Thing. And who are the artists? Man, I say, Zakir Hussain. Right? Um, Parikrama was the rock band. And we were the other band. So Parikrama, Kidenza, Zakir Hussain. They all were like, Kunja Fusion Man, weren't they? So we're like, okay. Why else any? Why not? It was good pay. You know, everything was paid for. So finally, I mean, like, Gorde, 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 then we, we, we flew back to Kathmandu. We paid our dues. In fact, we helped people. We back to Kathmandu. I was my beach, my kids, her drama. I was in the cinema. In the cinema, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Tamil was to you, no, in your time, man, nineties, man, ninety, ninety-three, ninety-four. It was a super vibrant man. I'm not with you. Tamil was awesome. Um, you know, very. Our your travelers are okay, and and that's what happened to us, no? Mm. Our travelers, they introduced us to a lot of music. I'm like, soon to you. At your time, man, teens and above, only we used to play like you know, Red Hot Chili Peppers, the Hymn, Spin Doctors, or above, on to we were slowly getting into a little bit of funk like James Brown. Influence I that, you know. You know, I the internet. So the exposure was very limited, you know. But I still remember this one guy saw us play and, you know, he was like, man, the band sounds amazing. Da, da, da. Have you guys checked out this band called D.I.G.? From Australia. No. They are called Directions in Groove. Directions in, in groove. groove. You know, D.I.G. even, Australian band. And it's, it's interesting how the Australian connection kind of evolves even later, you know. But um, he gave us a tip, and uh, we loved it. That mean, funky band, eh? But they had that slight jazz influence as well, and that's the sound that we started kind of, you know, gravitating towards, you know. And finding our spin doctors, or just as they say, just to call it. Along the line. Lines, uh. you know. And then from there, I, I still remember one guy giving us a John Coltrane tip. Exactly, Billy Holiday would tip. You, um, you, these are like all travelers. Man, there is a tourist, there is a I own nearly tip or do you? Have you checked it out? I was just listening to them, like, and they knew I've been on my access China on it. On the time, like, didn't they? Even they were just not even like you know real tapes. They were just recorded tapes. So I need to tell them. Check this out, man. Right? Um. And that's how we got into it, man. I still remember listening to that Billy Holiday tape over and over again. I remember this, there was a drummer. I mean, Santa and I were not in the same Soul Sacrifice was in the Santa and I were. And we played that and we were just hanging out. And this drummer, this guy came. He said, um, this guy said, hey, man, can I sit in for a tune, buddy? And I was like, sure. On the get out of the tune, on the, after the break. He came and then he pulled his stick bag off his backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. You this guy's serious. <laughs> He's a serious guy now, you know. On the Titi Villa, I think they sold sacrifice. We couldn't get Santa Nag, tell you about that. He was an American Cuban guy or something like that. Good lading. But I was just like, you know, amazing, right? And I, then I chatted with him, and then, you know, he would talk about, uh, so we had a whole collection of given tapes by our friends who were traveling, you know, and um, started listening to music. And that's how we got exposed to jazz. On the time the once we were bitten by the jazz bug, there was no way around. It stayed with you. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, every point, my, you know, I remember ja, uh, Yogesh left for the U.S. the Tivela. Then the problem was And you know we we were both Belga to Vinapa when the studio too. School sit there as I used to come there. We did it here. Same work studio, but we did it also used to stay there. And we used to kind of work at the studio as well. So Rabo Belga to practice money. The other one what they A duo. Duo. We practice on there. That that is I think was the time when we really developed, you know, um, technically and all of that. Um, on the Tetine Bela, I was talking about the on the Christmas and remember Chris? Of course I remember Christmas. Right? Christmas answer. <laughs> and Chris uh, I was working with Chris, our elites my he was the one who introduced me to elites. 
Christmas and Sir Leo. Yes. He, we, um, I used to do some jingles for him. You know, voiceover got in there. Gip when he go there. On the Chris song, I think Pravin and I also played that mm. like just mm. um, as a trio, jazz. Uh, um, uh. This is better. You know, like a jazz, we play standards and all of that. On the day time, uh, Chris was like, you know, hey, my is there a gig? So school go, give a concert, get your annual concert. So I need elite school. So more, just a track back. I started in elite, and then from nursery itself, elite school concert, but it it was the biggest thing. Yeah, it was a big deal. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. so he invited me and said like, you know. On the, I think I worked for a month or so, and after that, the thing I was and Mrs. Mother and Bed Bar and the Chris did the very school may put on there and then you just come for the the, the, main the, the specific duration, timeline du- oh. duration oh. Line, eh? and then she was like, you know, hey, you want to teach? Mrs. Mother, Mamley, Mamley, on the Mamley, ma'am, I loved it. You know, I love teaching, but I can't cut my hair when. when my <laughs> 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 A whole building was just for music, you know. And you only had to really realize what. So, as a summer pony, you know, most probably coming school, my wala in 2024, that you were a complete building, buildings. You know, two buildings, two days ago, that you, you know, is just for music. Or 50 and and including 15 music teachers. I don't think so. If there is any school like that, let me know. I'd love to know. You know, why did I that? I don't think so. It it was like full on. Dear Saint. Investment on it, you know. Well, what it like the first mm. interactive music competition? I remember when you might have. We need a sound system, you know. The, the kids are doing good. Everything is set, but we need a good sound system. And she was like, and I said, we can rent one. No worries. I'll reach out to some folks out here. You know, shouldn't be that much. And she goes like, well, how much is it going to cost to buy? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, let's buy it. Let's buy it. And I'm, I just. Invest. Yeah. She's like, we'll buy it. We don't have rent. Boom. Just to that. You know, I was cool, man, bro. You know, sure, love your mics are on. Zeni. Let's go say that you. We had cordless, sure. SM, you know, I know how much it costs cost, now, right? So I paid them. You know, we had this huge 16 channel mixer, PA system, everything. They had. I mean, instruments. I but they were called. You know, marching band good instruments or bagpipes or something. They were all there. You know, it, it, there was no like. You know, there was no. There's no co- co- cost cutting money here. No Go room. Let's get the best. No compromise. No compromise. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna go all the way. You know, our Tetiwala Green Music Fest. When that was my first music festival, I did that at Elites. Green Music Fest, inter school music competition. They won gold. Who some of the stars have come to judge those concerts. You know. Um, so yeah, but we 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 went all the way in, Hunsani, and all the way. Would be blown away by the standard. You know? How old were you when you were leading it? Sir? Very young. Yeah, young, I was. You you talking about when I was in elite? Elite, but they guys were so just to tell you guys by so. You know, I was the young kid in town. You know, 
I'll share this with everybody. And it was so interesting. Okay, school my I'll tell it to you guys too, right? There used to be Novin sir, and then all the young lot. I know. I'm all sons and I had to take. Uh, I think I took a bit of your classes too. I take flute or harmonium. You know, because then the Western, you used to division got that you had to take. And matching band in that time only for a time being. It was required. It was required. Like otherwise, you won't pass. You know, so suppose it took a mix bag on you. know, that's what I did. I still remember actually. I, don't, I can't remember the guys. I know they're seniors to me. Because uh, they interesting. You know, garbage. Subway. Subway. Somewhat related to garbage. Okay, what was it called again? The you garbage band. The right? garbage <laughs> band. I know. That's it. Take it to create or romance. Is it? I know. Because bottles or beer go. Under it. Did you hear? Coke cans. Coke cans and this stuff. The Roxy go. Under it. Okay. To. And I still remember to paint. Go to. Dabba just to you, bank it full of dabba, full of banana. Do you know the story how that happened? No, I don't know. Okay. I wish I had pictures of it. Oh man! So our annual concert was there, you know. So we have the choirs, the orchestras, Eastern orchestra, Western, all of that is there, you know. Mrs. Mrs. Mina Murada comes and says like, or was it Mrs. Rana? I don't remember. But there were a group of boys, vice principal, the principal comes. Nadine, we got to do something with these guys. They are not feeding in anything. I know. No choir, much. No give. Yes, so Eric get our corner, right? I see that. <laughs> I mean, what mess get our? So, all the best mess. What mess get our? Pandra Vish Jana. And the, but I was, I, 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 I always got fascinated with naughty kids. You know, I mean, more, more than like them all. Unse ni, it's, it's not the. Abu Thaw naughty mess get our. So can you unse ni? You know, but if you channel their, you know, passion the right way, so is Jana will be. Cool, you know. So the first thing I told the guys was like, guys, you guys are kind of nobody wants you. Yeah, right. Sorry, but So you know where you guys are like discards, you know. But what I think is you guys can do something really cool, because I knew in like about the log on the side, at the about you know, like when you're a teenager, there you you are hip, you know, you you want to be hip, I know. And I said, how about we do this? We do, we do something cool. Well, if I could stomp it, I get it. I've just seen it. All right. Now I know where it comes from. Oh. Yep. And I was like, man, we could do something like that. So I said, we are going to create our own instruments. And, and we'll use stuff that's more like garbage for people, like stuff that they throw. You know, but we build our instruments and we come up with something cool. They got excited. And I said, you don't have to wear tie, dress, a scale on, but then. Wear your jeans, wear your baseball hats, whatever. Be hip. I know t-shirt lagoni at thirty bucks. It's too much because okay because you know that was a problem for these guys, you know. And um, so they got into it. They they made their instruments. Unsa na thulo tiyo pani ko tiyo ano na plastic ko what do you call those? Ma ma banu ma banu malayat ba ko kura aru ay na tiyo pani ko jar ko tiyo thulo tiyo campo dusto tiyo usko tiyo usko tiyo. You're as you're a fascinating that you're a mother mon but it goes a kitty one. Hey, coco coco cap cap like the togger at the flat one at until I do be throw it at you. The kitty kill a little togger at the light you. What's it called? Shaker kind of shaker kind of thing. I know that was one of the things that I still have memories of. Okay, to look blue color blue or to say bass drum just doing you. Dung 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 dung. I know so the huge tanks kind of you know. And then we build these shakers to dung at all. There are the two little bottle mess to call him there so. And there was this one guy. He was a pretty good hip hop singer, you know. And the Michael Jackson go kunchi git thiyo, beach ma jethi alik. But we used brooms, so the starting of the piece was like brooms or something. Yeah, four jana, six jana, just to say, shank, shank, kordey, na ba, bada alik just to parale. That was the entrance. Yeah. So everybody's like, what's happening? But then the rhythm would slowly build over that. Storm ke abo concept ho, unta, hai na? Tor, you know, I mean that got so hip. Every single time kuni kio na heri. Garbage drummers, <laughs> banyal. <laughs> Garbage drummers, la bola on the mamli, yeah. So man, that was that was fun. Yeah, I I loved it. Yeah, and and they did so well. You know? I don't think you remember this, but we all had to do. Uh, I think the whole school had to do this. You know, John Lennon, co- imagine. I know at one point, key go like you, key event go like you too. But I am. We all pay down. Listen, imagine going for it. Okay, I remember uh, remembering the uh, lyrics. Key whole night, I I wanted to remember the lyrics. Key, and because I don't want to fail. 
I mean, it was it it was serious business. We are not messing around, Nita. Oh. Right? Music, one ago, it, it it that became the concept. Early it's made it was a serious business. So, din bari you taught, and Isaza you did the gig in Thamel. Was uh, it testo chuki thi na? Um, abo pahila yoda time I when I was not teaching. That you realize we did like six, seven nights a ball on the Thamel mai na. Once I started teaching, then we played few nights, six, seven nights. Got na idaroni abo the throw. You know, school band, school band, band, band. Plus, we taught, uh, not taught, like I worked at the studio, pani. At that Vinapa studio, when the Sam go, you know, they had say practice, pani unthiya, but we did, you know, some studio work. Praveen really got into it. A moje talking about this, but you know, so it was a full. You became my educator. I became kind of. Yeah, I I loved it. I just just um, it, it became my passion. You know, I still till date I I love that aspect of it. That that that. That satisfaction when you see that twinkle on any the student go there, I got it sir. One is the ones any because you are trying, you know. Uh, this is priceless. This got to get this to satisfaction on any when somebody gets it. It's like yes sir. And your students ended up in your band. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think Gaur Gaur the, was there. Bosnia was there. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I mean these guys were. Into it, you know. Uh, but I mean, we did Trinity College go great example. Yeah, I'm like start going in elites, man. And I remember Basnet, uh, Gaurav Basnet and Pandey. Mm. They both did their uh, Trinity College great exams from elites. Uh, Thiopani, that that was another whole project. I mean, it was just to Thiopani that they will have a joke. I was Thiopani going, Thiopani going. Why not? Everything was why not? Why can't we do? You know. So we did it all, man. I mean, I don't know. I just someone. I if anybody's done that, I would. I'd be very impressed. I don't know. I don't know who's gonna listen to it, but I know everybody from Elites is gonna listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I mean, you know, we did Sister Act too. Do you eh, remember that? I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. Uh, Wh- uh, Whoopi, uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Goldberg was there. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I have a tape of that. I have a VHS of that. I think I think these guys killed it, Tetiola. Yes, to the standard. I think that was the pinnacle, okay? To Elisco, Puego, the the standard of um, talent. Jenny singers, or the Hindiara, or Gaurav, or Mitha Yusmay. I mean, we didn't. We we were the band. Gaurav, Pandey, Bosnet, myself, Pravin was there. We were the band. We did live music for the musical, I know. And then all the kids were there. Um, man. Amazing singers. I would do Kere, Laura Dill, Copard, or Gorne. Did you go in the other? We did it, man. I mean, there were again internet, funny, you know, I know, but the access is in the room. I still remember sitting in front of a TV with a VHS tape, back and forth, writing every little thing down. Script, they said, one I wonder. Hatley Leher, okay. Sunday, forward, okay. In Zeni, they said, one I got a script. I took it to the office, office concealer. Type got it, then we got it, we made the photocopies, and that's how we did it. The cinema editing, you know, we got it. I miss my school, Thaz. No, I'm not, uh, like a couple of us, I mean, a couple of us, we sat down and we said, let's buy the school. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wanted the name alive, you know, it's not like that, you know, but I mean, I don't want to argue, you know, I don't want to argue, you know, I don't want to argue, you know, but you know, a lot of things happened, you know. Yeah, yeah. But who's gonna run it? Because I can't run my school. If we, yeah. None of us could run the school. Okay? We casually stuff, had this conversation. Yeah. Okay? Because Mala has a with everybody around the world, mm-hmm. if we just pull in like a little bit of money, we could definitely bring our school to what it was. Yeah. But we wouldn't know how to run it. Okay? Yeah. I miss our school. Okay? Yeah. Elite yeah. Me too, man. Me too. I mean, that was um, that was a big deal for me. You know, I got I really learned too. I mean, it was not just me teaching. I learned a lot from you guys. Mere education, but Tiba, you know, uh, my professional education was there. Unzeni, everything uh, professional, you know. I mean, that it, it was a concept, you know. I I just couldn't tolerate that. Unzeni, kina dilo, kina why why can't why why I'm easy in this domain, brother. I'm eleven. So be good or I'm not good enough, sir. You know, it can be quality, it can be yeah. top notch. You do the best, man, and that's all you can do. Why not? But why? Time I used to work music. Time I got up. Yeah, I mean students are some day too. I was very open, um, but you know it was we meant business. You were a friend. Mm-hmm. Not everybody was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not everybody was. Yeah, but I was like no, and and I think 
सब को बिकज एवरीबडी वॉज क्यूरियस अबाउट मी नहीं अब यह लमो केस भाग मं हिपी जो मं धारी हिशारी है अब सुटी टाई साई लगे टीचर अरे तो आई रह स्कूल में अब टी लाइक यू नो क्लासिक टीचर एटमोस्फिर में तो मत छ सो एवरीबडी वॉज क्यूरियस अब यह के तर द थिंग विथ मी वॉज लाइक यू नो आई मीन दैट वॉज जस्ट योर फिरेन्स बट जो कोर कुछ तो हेज टू बी दैट एंड आई थिंक दैट्स वट Everybody started like, okay, this guy is okay then, you know. One new bug, yeah, like. It's gonna be so fun to have all our teachers together. Even Nina, ma'am, yeah, I'm like, we really wanted. Uh, I think some of them worked on it as well. You know, there was a there was a big event that happened as well. But anyways, we talk about uh, elites forever. Yeah. Uh, more jazz upstairs. Like my first time go go money go two thousand. I think two tira ola two ki. Two, when did two more say? I personally went to jazz when jazz upstairs was still oh, the the <laughs> classic <laughs> one. The classic one. Yeah. I know. Thank you. Do not want to mess it up. The best one. Chirup Day always being there most of the time, unless he's God knows where he is. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Other jazz upstairs quite like the first time. Yeah, it's you know life, uh, the way you imagine things and how life has a plan for you. Oh. Uh-huh. It's always the case. I know. Good. Ready by that one, yeah. I mean, the case was just that one, you know. The life has already set your path, you know. Timing. I was Jojo, you know. I mean, we knew Chiro Jojo's good friend and like a brother to us for a very long time before Jazz Upstairs. He knew us from the days of the casino, the oh. Tamil. Oh. So we we were buddies then, you know. We we'd be at Lazim Park with our mother, Jojo Alu Dil. We'd be rehearsing there. I mean, it was a hang. Um, two thousand. Not 2000. It's 1998, man. I think he was like, you know, the Matty Buddy Bar Kulin, you know. 98, man. 98. Okay. I think so. Um, and we were we were teaching both. Uh, uh, Pravin Ramo, we were teaching at Elites. Yogesh had just left, so it was the two of us, Duizana brothers, just kind of sharpening their skills. I mean, practice not they got to Duizana. अंत जो जो चाहे खोल रहा सो दैट यू नो यूज टू गो हेंग आउट जो है यू नो समाइम्स यूड बी लाइक इसो जैम कर दिन पे प्रवीण रूम अकुस्टिक गिटार में अब सान थे जरा सो वी नेवर रियली थट कि अब अपस्टेज अपस्टेज सो छेप दाई जस्ट डिसाइडेड वन डे कि बिकज इट वॉज अपस्टेज फ्रम आर जैज थे जैज थे ए हो रहा जैज थे ए हो रहा तो मैं ठा चेन क्योंकि ठैक्क अब यह तो अभी पीपल वोट गेट इट ना है तर ठैक्क पछाड़ीपटी बटीबाइन But our music, I'd say, about because the place was small, we we were kind of a little well, got no success. But our acoustic was also more mellow, or was it? Probably guitar was it? We used to jam sometimes. And then I think um, we made a trip. Kidenza go trip. We were in Mumbai, we were back then. I mean, and that time, like a time, about the jazz bug had happened. I'm saying, Chris, I'm even in Boston, they too, I know. And we would just listen to jazz a lot, and very very traditional, like just straight ahead. Get the time go forties, fifties go jazz. Ani, I remember under Titi Bella Samanche actually, uh, was it? Was it? I'm trying to think. Jigme I put it too. Thing like that. Oh, I know. So those old bar con boyo, and then we used to hang out probably no more than two. Then we were like, we need to get a band together. One era, Jigme from Darjeeling, a friend of mine. Oh, I'm really so like, there's a young guy who's a really good guitar player. One era. दस में मैं गए थे दाजिंग ते बेला आई रिमेम्बर टक टू जिगमी हम जिगमी लाइक बोला बजाने हो यू नो हो दा भाई वॉज लाइक भेरी इन टू इट ही केम जोइन द बैंड ही ऑल्सो गोट चाल एलिज बिकज नीड गिटार टीचर ही टॉट गिटार है अनि देन आई थिंक वी वी थी यो द ग्रेट इंडियन रॉक और समथिंग लाइक दैन दे वॉज अ फेस्टिवल एंड देन दीज टू कम आउट विद दिस Tape, yeah. Best, uh, so they would select some uh, bands from India. Uh, they would have done an album on it. So, I'm really going to get um, select back there. Party, I know. On the two festivals, it brought me my back there, and we were playing. Then I got to the festival. Ninety-eight, there. No, no. This is um, yeah, ninety-eight, there. I know. On the 
But then we had heard about this place called Jazz by the Bay. Jazz by the Bay. Jazz by the Bay was a place in Mumbai, uh, which was hip. I put out Sule Kanda got out. That's Jazz Mathe Botsal. I mean, ever feeling Jazz when it's everyone just like ah, you know, so fascinated, right? Zanu Parsa got out, you know. So we went there just to check it out. We did music when they do sit here, going like that, and it was Mathe Bori Lehte, not just Jazz by the Bay. And then we are like, what happened here? Kino. <laughs> I know, with the jazz, I will put out about not just jazz by the way, he does. I mean, I can understand my label, you know, they were probably like, it's not just jazz, but there are other music as well, da da da. You know, trying to appeal to a wider audience. Huh. Totally understandable. But the Tibela was not cool because we had high expectations. Yeah, well, you know. So it was just like, huh, you know. So when we came back, um, then those on good out, they one of those days, you know. And we told him, like, what happened? Give out, just like, what's the matter about the, you know? And he said, like, man, the jazz, by the way, they're not just jazz, by the way. <laughs> 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 you know, like, super disappointed, huh? And they think, you know, we That's the place? Uh, yeah, the kind yeah, of yeah, maybe. probably. Yeah. 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 And, and, and the, you know, those are like, those are like, jazz, but I'm not going to Nepal, man. I'm sorry, no, we'll play. And we both on a Saturday, Saturday, Saturday night jazz, you know? And I think that's how it started. And we were also like, and, you know, because of a scene goes to the music, yeah, like, the bar my music was not very uh, kind of taken seriously. So we were also like, you know, we will practice, you know, we will play some real traditional jazz. We even dressed up. Huh. Full, like, don't full gear, man. I tie side, long hair. Um, just do it. I'm gear, I'm telling you, I'm instrument wise, like, yeah, limited. I know, Tara Ponya, I say, we still have photos of that upstairs, go put an upstairs, man. On the Saturday night jazz, one, you know, the basically, when I did the poster, when we had it up, and we said we are going to charge a cover. Yeah. I think we were the first ones to do that. Till today. I let up or we charge Gorsa, I live in Kaur to Gorsa, or Titiwala cover when it was a concept. What? 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 And I still remember Susan, Amrasati, Titiwala. Um, people were like, oh, Really, we have to pay to get in? And I think the first couple of gigs, she just said, like, You know, well, you can pay on your way out. Those are about we, you know, ticket to saw, but I have a month here all protesting. Yeah, but you know, Tim, we have the coil, coil, or a barrel, call him, and then Tim or Motor Skin. I mean, dude, well, the music's really good. This goes directly to the band. Huh. Yeah, the cover goes to the band, music's really good. If you like it, you can pay on your way out. And guess what? People started paying on their way out first time. Then it began trend. You know, we have a cover charge for all the venues, I and mean, most of the venues have that. No, I say. So that that really was important because uh, if you're not in there for the music, then kind of saying don't come, you know. So once you pay a cover, you're you're kind of expecting that you'll be a little into the music, right? No. Because uh, well, as an artist, I mean, like that, do it at signs and the, I mean, like that, when you're playing, you know, you appreciate or listen to it, that, you know, playing to a wall, right? So when you have the the right kind of audience who are into it and interacting. Then the, the the chemistry and the magic happens, I know. Only that 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 became important for us. Agadi padi, abo guima was the And um and we we were very serious about it. There was no again, you know, till last day thing again. It was like yesterday gorne, you know, band used to practice pretty much every day. I got there practice tight voice I tell, I know. So when somebody came to see the band and listen, they were like, okay, it was worth my whatever hundred rupees then. Fifty rupees, like hundred rupees, got it. You know, but um, but that was it. And then you know, and one thing led to the other. I the other hip on the piece that. Then we did Wednesday night when you got it. I'm on it. No, no, no. Is it a thought? They want to jail or not? Is it true that Sting at the city? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Absolutely true. Yeah. Sting, Sting was there. Yeah, he was there. What's the story? <laughs> I want to know the story. I <laughs> 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 a good generation, I think it, it would be a good thing for them to know. Um, again, it was a time when we had cell phones, those flip phones, that are about I mean, I like just those tena, you know, like where everybody could be like, oh, you know. Sting was that jazz upstairs. It's a true Sting story. Was, it's a true story. It's a true story. 
Wednesday night gig, Cherub Jojo calls me and said, Oh, Aju, Ko, Mo, Mo, Ko, Song, Bossy, Rax, it, Oil, Kolama, you know? And I was like, Oh, Steam. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was like, Really? And Oni, Kolama, and Toyas, Tora Song, I go, is a trip, and I said, No. And the Moin, let's say, Belga, I mean, Bernunzo. Wednesday, if you if you can come, you know, please, I mean, we'd love to have you on Airbonne too. Also, I you one tell you, oh, well, I can still believe. I was like, ah, really? I mean, you know, super shocked. Only then, Jojo came and we were like, also, 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 one day till then. So we were like, okay, if he comes, awesome. I'm keep going now, right? ตัวนักสะใจเนี่ยติมันก็ไหนเธอเนี่ยโฟโต้ใช่ไหมอันนี้อันนี้ออฟเซสมาใจติมันก็ใช่เออเอ่อบอกว่าเป็นที่ที่
like it was wild. I know. And I think um, when he started singing, that's when I really realized, okay, what is happening? And you know, this guy's voice, okay. I've been down so long. And it's true, okay. You know, some Billy Holiday really too naturally. That's the one I want to do. Whoa, this is Sting singing right in front of me right now. I'm playing for him. For, I'm playing for him. And that that voice has been with me for so long as a kid, listening to Police. And, I know. To to soar it. Cost too unique, son. Those go. Yeah. And we were just blown away. I mean, you know, the whole whole band and uh, um, he played that tune. He, I mean, the solo or the other mic or the Dini scene get out live and he was very interactive on stage. Um, and then he said thank you, and everybody was just wild, you know. Get out, I'm go out, put out crazy, but I think some look out one got it, I want to keep up, you know. So they left. I mean, we were left high and dry now. I was seeing, I was a keyboard on our next tune, and I think we played a police tune. Huh. I don't know. It was uh, one of their tunes, and the band sounded great. You know, it was just like to energy keyboard. Yeah. Some something happened, and you were like, "It's not bad. This is this is a cool tune." After Sting, you know, so that was it, man. And um, you know, it was a big buzz. I was bored, but I saw people saying, "Ah, Sting, I think he." I'm newspaper, I'm in Italy, Italy. I'm there once in China, but there's there's one photo of him singing, and I think that's in upstairs. It was a mirror, man. Office must have over. Okay. Somebody took that shot and shared it with us later. I mean, did you have a Latino now? Like, oh, you yeah, know, yeah, right? you. I don't know who did that, but somebody Whoever said, did, did it. it, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sting. And then, um, and then there was a follow up a little bit, right? If you have a little bit of time. We got time. So, I mean, just the bad, you know? I don't know, six, seven months or so. Josele. I got this magazine from London. Check it out. So it's the men's journal. I know. Stings on the cover. Yeah. Right? And there's an article written by him called Walking on the Moon inside. And there's the whole story, his conversation and my conversation and how we played at the bar. I think it's still up online. <laughs> Google the... I know, Novin Chetri and then Sting. No, I don't know. do Novin Chetri, do Sting, Sting uh, Men's Journal. Men's Journal, um, Walking Nepal, in the Moon, ne- Nepal. Uh, Nepal, you know. Got other, damn, what an impact. Yeah, I, I, I guess he loved it, you know. I mean, he, he tell, I mean, this his whole story to the full article. Is Nepal, I don't know, he's a kid, he's a kid, he's a kid, he's a kid. You know, was the 18th birthday, like, like, celebrate with his son. At that time, Sting was... Sting. Oh, it's just a big, big time, yeah. Sting it, yeah. 90, early winter, 98, 99, it was... Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, I think, till only, only later, or 2003, yeah, three, three go good, yeah. yeah. This is after you guys went to Parma and Australia. Yeah, Australia, 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 Australia. Our, our jazz scene was very, you know, prevalent that you allow Wednesday, Saturday, upstairs, man. ฉันรู้ได้เลยแจ๊สเลยนะที่นี่บอกออฟสเตอร์สแจ๊สเนี่ยเอาเตะมันไปแล้วออฟสเตอร์สแจ๊สบันทึกเอาเตะมันไอ
the idea germinated the way we were like maybe we should do 100 years of jazz one it, 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 i think it felt in that 100 years of jazz one let's pick out the iconic jazz standards mm. and see how we can incorporate you know, it. incorporate it with our traditional musicians one era we started practicing on he practice karde jana to jana ho exciting hude go then we recorded the full thing bina pa mai sam chapin le gareyo on he sam or sunne everybody was just like wow nai ba ko because it was new you know it was so fresh on it the recording i think susan had um, played for neil as well neil sellers hai on he neil was visiting the tivala kathmandu akwela ma of neil was the one who organized the palmer street jazz festival in australia in australia Right? And the Kurama Kura, but they don't need. I you know, it's like they sting guys just to get up. They go on the other way. And nearly organized got the jazz festival. They don't want to have any Kura ni. And it was just, you know, we started talking about it, and Neil was like, "Well, then maybe we can make it work." Kali. On the other, tak 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 tak, Kura milio. I mean, obviously they are not like how much are. Visa, how much did you pay? Kali, you know. Long story, but long story short. We got invited to play um, uh, by Neil Sellers and Susan FM. in in uh, the Palmer Street Jazz Festival. Yeah, and that's when we met Aphrodisiac Boys, our buddies from down under. You know, Jojo Bunny got there. I mean, sorry. So Cheru, Jojo, myself, Praveen, and Amro Bai, Jig me goze. Passport issue, bara. You can join us. Last minute. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. 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 And then there was this French guy, saxophone player, uh, Tony Zorba. I mean, he used to visit Nepal all the time. I was in Nepal all the time. And so he joined the band. So it became a trio, saxophone, drums, and bass. And we played at the Parliament Street Jazz Festival. You know, first time ever um, International Jazz Festival, Nepal go jazz band, everybody was very curious. In Nepal, what a key was. Key was, right? Nepal man jazz, right? And I still remember Nick Karu, Agadi, Kyani, Ben, nobody was geeked here, Ben, Ben. But these guys were there, just checking out, you know. They were like, well, George Benson, or Ngaute, you know. So we did a little bit of fusion, but a little bit of standard, and kind of we created a little, you know, recipe for our to audience, like, appealing to like. So man, that was it, and uh, Australia got the experience was just kind of mind blowing for us. Like wow, you know, we are hearing some um, instruments like trumpet and trombone in a live setting. This took got never happened any actually, and the vibe and how people enjoyed a f- jazz festival. Under one this day, there was a street me only, a Palmer Street me, and the different venues, a supper club, and the key one, yeah, open stage there. And these guys were just amazing, Neil, and you know, uh, they're like family for us. Like when Sunny Tan, you know, and they we played other gigs as well. There were Nick or live radio, Nick or live radio, or gig like Brisbane. So we had a little tour kind of. I think it was about two weeks or so. But then, you know, I think it germinated. The idea was like, wow, right? Can we do something like this, Kathmandu? So so, I mean, you know. Uh, but I think that was that was it. Then I mean, for Kerala, I knew idea and the excitement was there. Obviously, there was a lot of help. I mean, like I say all the time, you know, mm. it takes a village to do a festival like this. Yeah, I know support um, and and also kind of destiny, you know, things lining up. So when we came back, we were all super stoked, you know. Only I remember Suman Sosdev. Used to be the Gokarna Forest co owner then. Was a big jazz fan. And he, I one day he invited me for lunch or so and said, you know, after after I'm gonna gig this, hey, yeah, cost the ball, keep it. It's a very regular at jazz upstairs. We did it even until Alco. You know, she was a big support, a big jazz pillar. I bought on that. Me, her soul did it. I have a tune actually for her. We're gonna play that for our concert video. Um. And suddenly, uh, you know, I'm thinking of doing something here. Would you mm. guys be up for playing? Even then, I'll go for now. You're a pillar of my area, too. Jungle, too. And he was like, yeah, we've you know, fixed some of this. And 
पूरे सब म्यूजिक उन्हर को रेस्टोरेंट खाली वड़ा थी तो थी तो तो क्लब थी तो अंदर एमो ऑल पंप अप बारे आगे कॉस्टेली वड़ा है ना आई वाज लाइक या शुरू वाई नॉट यू नो बोलो नहीं आई मीन वी हैड दिस ट्रिप डा 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 वी मेड एफ्रोडिजी एक्ट यू नो इट बी ऑसम दे वुड लव टू कम टू कैटमेंट य you know they would love i mean they would, we just need the flight tickets <laughs> <laughs> i know and they was like oh you know I mean, if avro comes then cadenza and afro we can do a gig you know she will have it so one day uh, let me talk to my friend at the singapore airlines jinju see what he says you know then the ticket boy then i went back and i would upstairs me the amro hang and so so right money so so and they were like hey Subhan Sang is just a cool guy, so maybe we'll be able to get Afro. He's gonna talk. We'll see. Next day he calls and says, "I've got five tickets. Let's do it. Let's do it." That was Susan Lal. I mean, and then it's kind of like it 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 triggered there, okay? Thought of a jazz festival, they wanted the songs like that, Emily. It was just good ends and Afro, you know. But then we were like, ah, uh, well, if this is gonna, I'm here. Bine, I'm bro, Mumbai, bada. He was visiting. आगो तब देखो नोवेम्बर को कुरा है ये वी आर थिंकिंग अबाउट मार्च में करने फेस्टिवल चार महीने में चार महीने में राइट एंड बीने ले मी ओह मेरे साथी और सो मे बी मुंबई वालों वी कैन गेट अ बैंड लेट मी यू नो देवर वाज अनदर गाय बर्नी बर्नी बने थे ओ आई कैन रिमेम्बर इस लास्ट नेम फॉर इंग्लैंड बड And Bernie, how about a band from England? You know, I mean, it's golf, my golf bar. I said, yeah, you know, couple of drinks, I go. I mean, you can change the world. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's how Churchill did it. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, uh, and Bernie was like, well, I'm, you know, I've got some of my friends. They would be interested to come. I'll have to see. But you know, sure, let's let's see. Did you did you go? Bernie talked to Groove Supper when they band India bar. Bernie talked to his friends in England, right? So we have Aphrodisiac, we have Bine's band from Mumbai, Group Supper, we have um, Bernie's London Quartet, or huh. Natalie Williams, when she was a young, upcoming singer, she's a superstar right now in London. She plays Ronnie Scott's regularly. She came with Bernie, right? Now I think Suman had a band he knew in Dubai. Who are South African musicians, but like played in Dubai hotel. It's like he was like, ah, maybe I could call these guys. That was it, man. The lineup: Kidenza, Aphrodisiac, Birdie's London Quartet or Quintet, uh, the Groove Supper, and then Dubai Quartet. I came at it. That's what I band. First jazz band do. In Go Karna. In Go Karna, but like you know, it was initiated. Abu Go Karna. Then we started coming with ideas. I know they have Shangri La Hotel, Pani. They came in, came on board. We'll do a finale there. I would tell you about time of crisis. I would tell you about the Mahavadi who came and said the country was going through the the whole transition. Yeah, and then tourism was down. Everybody was hungry for something, you know, positive, right? Music was something we were like, yeah, come on, man, you know, Johnny. So there was a lot of support. Vidya Devi, Suman. Uh, even Nepal Tourism Board, Titiwala, you know, we were like, how can we do this? Well, together. Right? Together. So everybody liked you. Thought it was also things started lining up. Tak, tak, tak. You know, Tsar Mayna got preparation on that, right? So that's tough, man. When I think about it now, I mean, oily our jazz band record, I mean, it was a decade. Do you want to know? So, what you're going to do? We are starting talking for, you know, last year. 2025, cool, like, you know. Yeah, our dates are, I mean, do you want to do it? Cool, dates are going to be. Tsar Mayna, man. Tack, 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 you know? Team went excited, we were all thrilled. It happened. And after that, it was like, now how do we keep on going? <laughs> Who kept the name Jasmine doing this? Zozo. Hey, Zozo. 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 We were, our Kathmandu Jazz Festival, right? Very official, you know, Kathmandu Jazz Festival. Our website, we were registered. But we were having a lot of fun. We were having a lot of fun. बाल वाटर का बार में मैं आप तेरी जैस बंदूक उठी कर रहे हैं बोल रहे थे तो उसलिए जैस जैस है ना कठपुतली में जैस कुनी के जैस बंदूक नहीं आप यू नो आई जस्ट कैन केम अप यू नो यार इट्स क्लासिक जो जो इट्स दैट नहीं ना किके टाको उनसे अभी वो लाइक जैस बंदूक एवरीवर इज लाइक ओह या 
Jasmine Do. That's how it came up. I I don't know if we used Jasmine Do even in the first year. Uh-huh. But uh, um but then it that was that was it. I mean that's how it started. As well you go poster uh, uh show it to everybody, isn't it? I know because No means it was not easy, ni. Oh man, it's never easy, but you know. Doing it for twenty years. It uh you do was a COVID lay kaidio, uh but you have not homas her, you know, uh, the whole it world twenty two years. Twenty two years, uh but you uh, it is what it is, right? Yeah, the yeah. whole world had to shut down, so uh, let's not even go there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Same person is designing everything. Yes. <laughs> Who did the logo and everything? Deepesh. I'm Sadi Deepesh Lama. He's he's been designing since the beginning. And yeah, I mean that's like I said, it's a village, you know. Um it's been a team and that's that's the thing I say, like if somebody asked me, like, you know, what's the secret? It's, it's the team. Um their dedication to doing this, you know. You know, point I'm the oldest uh, person in the team, like, you know, or the youngest person in the team has probably done it for about 12 years, you know. So not that everybody's been there for so long. I mean, Deepesh Lee designed Goribo. Amoyes Lai has been doing the sound since the beginning. Uh, Sunil was doing the stage and he's did from the beginning. So everybody's kind of been there for 20 years. And, and I, I think it's that's a big deal, you know. It is a very big deal. It is a very big deal. It is a very, very big deal. And I'm glad that Gokarna is still there. It's still there, right? I mean, some of the changes boy, changes boy, obviously, it's inevitable, I know. But over there, but you have to give it to folks who've been sticking around for. So Gokarna long. and Jazz of Stairs. See, Jazz I call it Jazz of Stairs. Memories, Sanjay. Let me just touch base on this this year, nah? all the things, uh, because yeah, yeah. I don't want to lose base on that. So today is 23rd, I know. So 24th, man, uh, that is tomorrow. Yep. Tomorrow is going to be uh, at upstairs. Well, yeah, that's our kickoff um, event. I mean, that, that was also like organically first year, okay? Yeah. First year, it's in the first year, upstairs, and we started jamming. And that was just so fun. So after that, we called it Grooving at Upstairs. And so it, it always kicks off. Leave it, leave it up there, leave it up there. Uh, it always kicks off, uh, kicks off from uh, uh, yeah, upstairs, upstairs, right? Upstairs. Uh-huh. And then we've got uh, we your plane. Have a, uh-huh. But we also do a afternoon match. We do a concert for school students. Xavier Magar, right? Xavier Magar, right? So last year we didn't go there, but we invite schools from all around the valley, you know, uh-huh. and um, you know they come. And about, we have five hundred, six hundred students. I mean, it's one of the most wildest concerts. I mean, it's it's you have to see that guy last year. Oh. Ireland. Oh. I mean, they're many. Are, I mean, like students are like buzzing it. They love it. They love it, man. Nothing so like it. You had upstairs uh, EP electric pogoda matcha. Eden ma Eden yeh boyo hai na. And this is. This is about Valley Jams bani. Valley Jams bani. The only point I'm the Suru Gorega concept of. Okay. You know, where different parts of the valley, you know, venues feature different bands, so people can go hopping around. Yeah. Like it's the valley is buzzing with jazz. That's yeah. Like no, that's that's perfect. That's perfect. Uh, b- obviously, Gokarna on the 26th, that's on Saturday, and, mm-hmm. and then uh, Monday... And Sunday, we take a break. Yeah, Sunday, mm-hmm. you're just taking a uh-huh. break. And then Monday, uh, at the Nanglo... At the Zomzi Kelme. Oh, Zomzi We're going to do, like, sounds of uh, flamenco jazz, and we're also going to come together with Afro, Pete, uh, Afro Dizzy Act, and Kudenza. It's going to be called Afro, Afro. Denze. Denza. Oh, Denza. So it's the full band playing together, and and we're super thrilled. At the lawn, I know. Yeah. And especially do- do- yeah, th- that's awesome, man. You guys are going back to Patton. Oh I yeah, know. Jazz at Patton. That yeah. is that is the iconic. I mean, it literally you, you know, Jazz at Patton. I'm the first concert of a Gorini Patton Museum of Gorini. Mm-hmm. I think that was our ticket to convincing people that we can organize an event. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because that event was super classic. Yeah, show sure that to everybody. And then we've got, uh, hold on, 28. Uh, and then workshops, huh? Right? Workshops, huh? Yalla, my God, right? Uh huh. And then, then the finale, I mean. At the, the Molla? At the Molla, Yapal. Didn't you play at, was it Himalaya, my Kelly? It was the first time in Nepal. Yes. <laughs> Molla, yes. Molla is beautiful, too. They've yeah. got that uh, yeah. amazing garden, right? Yeah. And Himalaya is amazing too. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it, man. This be the first time, but um, I think um, we saw the venue, and we we also have sound engineers that come. Like you know, Jasmine Luko, One thing, uh, you know, if somebody asks me, like, what's the essence? You know, I'm a poet. I think he need kurat sikit hone. 
We want to do a festival that's like eh, top notch. Okay, again, why not? Why can't we do that? You know. Mm. So sound has always been. I mean, Libya was on that end. They're challenging, and then the sound is challenging in general. People from all around the world coming over. Right. So, so every year we get a sound engineer, and we got lucky to find a person like Daniel Lauren, who's a professional sound engineer from Switzerland. He's been coming to do the sound for Jazz Mandu for about fifteen, sixteen years now. Every year he comes. I know. It, again, it's a family thing, you know. So family is now. Hey, I'll make sure dog comes out. I know. So he's taking care of the sound, and and that's a big priority for us. Musicians' comfort is the biggest thing. I mean, the musicians are happy. It's going to be a good concert. Once it's a good concert, everybody's happy. It's simple as that. Hey, no one's going to ask you something. Yeah. You followed your passion, right? Yeah. A lot of people don't get to do that. Oh man, I feel blessed about that, man. I don't take that for granted. Believe me, I really am thankful for it that I can follow my passion. Was it easy? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. I mean, you know, it's it, and but like if it was easy, then probably it it wouldn't have had that energy either. You know, I mean, it's difficult, and then you achieve, and then you feel good about it, right? I know. Yeah. I, I, I think. I know. So. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't easy. It's and it's still not easy, you know, easy one to learn. But then, because it's not easy, it's challenging, and because it's challenging, it's fun. You know, what else? I mean, lot of it done. Kali way again. No, the kati zana mali kina so da man. There's so many. See, no matter what happens, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of kids who come up to me and go like, "There's a kid who is listening right now who looks up to me, probably, you know, mm-hmm. like with what I do, right?" I could have I could have done other things. Yep, I would have studied. I would have become something else. Yep, like, no, of course. Uh, which would I have hated, but I would have been doing something yeah. else, right? I love this. It doesn't feel like that's the thing, no. It's it doesn't feel that you're playing. It's not work. It's not work. It's not work. It's not work for me. It's 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 a blessing, and like I said, you know, I never take it for granted. But I also at the same time, you give your hundred percent, you know, full in, and you half ass the gormi kame chale. No gara bhai, this thing. Guess who taught me that? <laughs> <laughs> you used to say this shit like back in the day when Absolutely. we were kids. <laughs> I really believe it now. God, because there is nothing is impossible. No one is talking to China. You know, it's challenging. About all the family when they go up, because the priorities are there. No, when so trouble, I will just keep on doing. If you're consistent, it's gonna happen, man. There's nothing that's China. Okay, consistent. That's the important thing. You know, gotta keep on doing it. It's gonna happen. It comes from this man. Hey, by the way, just letting you guys know. No, man. Thank you so, Novin sir. Thank you so much for coming. This, this is the first time we're sitting, but again, this is, this has to be continued because I know you got to bounce. There are people waiting for you, <laughs> I know, to pick up that phone. <laughs> I know. Um, anything specific that I missed out that you definitely wanted to share today? Um, you know, I I mean, like the what the one thing, and I think I've mentioned it is like I I truly feel blessed and thankful for what I can do. I follow my passion. And I can do great music, especially after 22 COVID pieces. Unrealized, okay? Oh. How things can just, you know, be gone, right? I mean, you have gigs or buzz at a go, cotty or that, buzz on, you know, one in one, okay? I got people, I mean, you know, sometimes, but that really struck me, man. I mean, it was like, wow, this could be taken away from me at any second. Um, so I would just say, like, you know, be thankful and um, follow your passion. You know, there's nothing impossible, and um, keep on doing it. Right? I will. Like I said, like I said, I'm just just thankful for it. Man. I didn't touch base on a lot of things today, which I left left it today, and, and I just want to thank Nakshidi for. You, you don't know this, but your sister has been there, helped me out, yeah, all my life, right? right? Now, since 2005. She's, she's, right she's also. <laughs> she, my sister is also the solid, you know, pillar. Pillar. Yeah, yeah, this is so funny. Yeah, you know, the brother helped me out when I was a kid, you know, and then we actually helped me out. No, she till today, like even here, like I don't know right. if she's mentioned, but she helps me out once in a while when when I need help in my Absolutely. office too. So she's amazing. Like I said, you know, I mean, we we have an amazing team, and I'm very thankful for that. You know, I couldn't have done it without these guys. I mean, yeah. This I'll leave it to be continued. Best of luck for Jasmine and, and we're there. I'm, I'm there rooting for you all my life. You know that. Thanks, man. And, uh, yep, absolutely. Mother, I want to die again. I love you. Thanks for thanks for 
everything that you've shared with us all my life. Thank you for that. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs>